Let's just have a look at some of the jargon or slang you might come across in a dealing room. Now up here I've got an FX quote. So we're looking at dollar stocky, dollar Swedish. So you can see that for one dollar, you get 9.1387 kroner. Now the 913, this is called the handle. As professionals, we both know what the handle is, so you probably wouldn't quote it to the counterpart. You'd just say 8797, unless there's a lot of volatility in the market, and you want to clarify that. If it goes from 913 to 914, that's a change in the big figure. So you've got a figure change. So when it's going up to 14 or down to 1300 or 12, you've got a figure change. Let's see what else we can have. Here, the FX rate has moved slightly. So now it's being shown as 9.1397 to 914. Now you wouldn't say 913, 97 to 914. You would just quote, like we said just now, the last two digits of each side. But now you've gone from 913, 97 to another higher figure, to 914. So you would just say 97, the figure. Now a final practical thing you'll hear in the markets is that when people are dealing in really large amounts, because the currency is huge in terms of denomination, rather than say a billion, they will say a yard. So two yards of yen, two billion yen. Three yards of euro, three billion euros. Why? It all goes back to the French and the Italians. These are the people that really got the world of finance running in the Middle Ages. And a lot of words we have in finance come from French or Italian. So the French for a billion is milliard. Milliard became shortened to liard, which became a yard. Similarly, in the old days, if you really wanted money, you went to Florence. The Medici family had all the money and all the bankers, the people with the money, would sit in their courtyard outside, listening to people trying to borrow from them. So what are they sitting on? They're sitting on their benches out of the sun. Italian for bench, that the guy with the money is sitting on, banker. And this is why a bank is called a bank. So if one of these rich guys, one of these bankers went out of business, they would symbolically take his bench, break it, so he is now bankrupt. So this is one of the origins that we have. Now the final bit of market history, if you like, is why sterling dollar is called cable. It goes back to July 1866. There used to be a cable running from the UK under the Atlantic to the US. On this cable, the first telegram was sent with an exchange rate, the exchange rate being sterling against the dollar. So this is why, for historic reasons, the sterling dollar exchange rate is called cable. So if cable is getting stronger, it means the pound is getting more dollars.